What am I going to do? Don't know, you better think of something quickly. Hi, welcome to our crib. <laughs> Flash hot this. We're not going to live here. Through this door. <laughs> Come with me. This whole office situation, well, it's been something that I've thought about for a while. Um, because every time I sit down and have like a business chat with my dad, he would be like, Harry, you need to do things properly now. You need to get an office. Like that is how you're gonna be able to grow this to another level. And I, for a long time, was just like, would just give him a really hard time about it. We just bash heads every time we spoke about it. It's not the same. And I'm like, Dad, you don't understand. Like video calls are great nowadays. Like it's really powerful. You can have a virtual team that works really well. Loads of companies do it. But like he just didn't understand the concept. But then it got to the situation where every time I spoke to someone who was really, really successful, they would give me the advice, get an office. You know when you are wondering whether to do something and then you keep getting the message, do it, do it, do it, do it. And that's kind of like what was happening. But at the same time, I was freaked out because since starting actually my first business back in 2005, I'd only ever worked online. And I love the freedom when you work virtually. I love having a virtual team. And so I was like, one, having an office feels like it would restrict my freedom. And two, it feels like if it doesn't work out, it's like a public failure. Like you have an office and then you close down the office. And so it was just like so many questions and it felt so overwhelming. And it was just ultimately just like this massive, big, scary decision and it terrified me. And then, um, I remember someone saying to me, what would you do in the next seven days if you only had seven days left to live? And I was like, mm, spend time with my family. And then like, if you think about your business and you, you, you only had 12 months left to live, what would you do? What would you do differently with your business? And I was just like, all of a sudden it just like, this clarity came over me and I was like, oh my gosh, I would just get the office and I would do it. And I would just see like, could it work? Like, could I make it happen? Could I get amazing people locally to work with me in FEA? And um, I just realized that like, I'd just been letting fear dictate my decision. And then randomly one day I was like looking and I found this place. So I came and looked around it as soon as I walked in here and I was like, yes, this is FEA HQ. Like it's just got such a cool feel and in an instant I just could see it come together. So basically, this is it. So this is gonna be the door, the entrance. So right here, I'm thinking we'll probably have some kind of like the FAA like motto, manifesto on the wall. Um, Remind us of the FAA motto. And I will watch me. It's, That's the one. So then maybe a nice table, flowers. Yeah, we have to use our imagination right now. Do come along up the stairs. So then this is going to be like a fun little chill out work area, sofas, meeting area, something fun and so you can just grab your laptop and work. Um, some drinks, fridges. The drinks tank. No. <laughs> don't think it was. <laughs> uh, drinks, fridges, then little pods to people that you can work in. So like obviously the team have a lot of calls given that it's half virtual, half here. So like little pods down here. So then We'll have like long tables and um, come and see my own office and my filming space. <laughs> so this will be where we do filming and will also be like a office space so that I can come and just get in the zone and work. Um, so it'll be really nice. I'm imagining like a nice pink sofa. Because obviously at home, Casey's making a racket, it's quite distracting. So if I can come here and get focus work done, because I feel like if I'm out there, I'm gonna be chatting away with everyone. I won't do anything. <gasps> Are you gonna come on the door? Yeah. You cheeky little monkey. <gasps> so then upstairs will be the kitchen and chill out area, eating area, um, some beer and some wine. What time oh, is it? Yeah, wine time. Um, and then right next door is the. 
Hi. Right next door is the Rex Cinema. So, and it's like, oh my God. <laughs> really? <laughs> and it's like this really amazing cinema they've done up. So it's got like sofas and you can get like bottles of wine and food and order it. So I was thinking like, we can do like cinema club in the afternoons. I feel like we could do like fun parties here, little gatherings, little workshops. Yeah, that'd be good. And just hang out and have fun. So this is the end of the FEA HQ tour, isn't it? Yeah.